Hi everyone. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah. So in yesterday class, uh, we have discussed about. In yesterday class, uh, we have discussed about why we have to use some wisdom. Okay. So and we also discussed about few examples. Okay, where uh, some wisdom are helpful for the real time industries. Okay, so in today class, uh, we are going to discuss about introduction to self-wisdom. Okay, few things we will discuss same as yesterday. Uh, few things we will discuss same as yesterday and uh, we will create self-wisdom instance for everyone today. Okay, yes. So I'm sharing my screen. I'm sharing my screen. So, first of all, I'm going to create a service no instance for everyone. Okay. First of all, I'm going to create a service no instance for everyone. So, please try to follow me. Okay. Then you are able to create your service no instance successfully. Okay. Please create your service no instances along with me. So, in between, if you have any queries, so please ask me. Okay. Yes. So for creating service no instance, for creating service no instance. So for creating instance. So navigate to service now developers portal. I'll get to service now developers portal. You can type here service now service now developer. Okay. Service now developer. You can type service now developer here. And you can end. Okay. Yes. When we type service now developer here, we have one link. Here you can say service now developers home. Service now developers home. Okay. You can click on this link. What is this link? HTTPS colon slash slash developer.servicenow.com. This is the link you have to click. Okay. I'm copying this URL to Notepad also and, and I'm pasting in chat also. Please try to create your service now instances along with me. Okay. So this is the URL. Okay. Once you navigated to developer.servicenow.com, once you navigated to developer.servicenow.com, so here you, you have two options. One is sign in and another one is sign up and start building. One is sign in and another one is sign up and start building. Okay, you can click. Uh, so if you, ha if you have already logged into developer.servicenow.com previously. So you can click on sign in. So if you are new to this, this page, if you are new to this page, you can click on sign up and start building. Sign up and start building. I hope everybody following me and you guys also doing same. Yes or no? Are you following, guys? Is everybody creating service no instance for you along with me? Yes, yeah. Okay, any difficulty, yeah. please. Uh, Raman, here, wait one second. I... Okay. Yeah, I will wait. Once you navigate to this URL, you can click on sign up and start building you can click on sign up and start yes i'm clicking on sign up and start building. okay yes it will ask for wait all right it is navigating to this website it is navigating to this website 
So basically, we don't have service now ID, right? We don't have service now ID. So you can click on get a service now ID. Get a service now ID. Okay, I will wait for one minute here. So you can see again, I'm 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 showing how how I navigated to this page. You can type service now developer here. Developer here. Once you click type service node developer here, you will get the link service node developer form. I'm clicking on service node developer form. This website is developer.servicenow.com. Developer.servicenow.com. Okay. Then after I'm clicking on sign up and start building. Then after I'm clicking on sign up and start building. Yes. Yes. It is navigating to sign in page itself. So we don't have account already. So that's why I'm going to get a service now ID. I'm clicking on get a service now ID. Get a service now ID. Is everybody completed until this step? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Is my voice clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Name. Service no. Last name. So please fill this form. Okay, email ID. C R V I C E now. C R V I N I N G zero one zero five. Now gmail.com. So this is my mail ID. Okay, country. I'm selecting India. Passport. So guys, for passport, everyone keeps a uh, unique passport. P R A I N I N G at rate of This is this is the password format you can follow. Okay. Everybody should follow the same password format. Training at the rate one to three. Training at the rate one to three. T is capital. Okay. So you guys also follow same password. One minute, one mistake. Now you can see, come here. Yes, I know. I'm again going to here. And I'm, my password is training. Red one, two, three. So password. So you can see, so confirm password also. I'm typing same. So everyone, please follow the same password. Training at the rate of one there. Training. At the rate of one to three, everyone follow the same password. Training at the rate of one to three. Then after I'm checking, not a road. Yes, here it is asking some queries here. So here we have form trees. Here we have form trees. Here also we have form trees. And here we have. And I'm verifying it. Okay. Then after. You have to read the service now website terms of use and privacy statement. Okay. So I'm clicking both the links uh, in next page. Okay. I have clicked on control and I'm clicking on those things. So you can see you can read service now website terms of use and privacy statement. Okay. So you can read this. Then I'm clicking on sign up. And I'm clicking on sign up. Once you click on, once you click on sign up, one, one verification email will go to your email address. One verification email go to your email address. I already have a answer. I just yeah, that's fine. You well. You have all that on the problem. Whoever don't have service now instance and new to service now, okay, so this will help you. 
Okay, once you done sign up, you will get one notification email to your email address. Now I'm going to open my email. So this is my mail ID. This is my mail ID. Okay. Service now training 0105 at the rate of gmail.com. I'm going to Gmail account here. Yeah. I am not, uh, so your question is, sir, here we should enter company email ID for creating instance in real time in online. Okay. So we will not create any service to instance in real time. In real time, we will not create any service to instance. Okay. It should be taken from service to company. Before you joining into organization, before you joining into organization, they already have service to instance. They already have service to instance. In that service to instance, they will provide you the credentials. Okay, you just log into the, that service to instance and you will do your daily basis works. Okay, now. Okay. 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 Okay, everybody got it. Any queries here? Please let me know. Yes, you can see. Yes, somebody is saying something. Yes, Pawan. Yes, sir. Okay. Now here you can see in, in my in my mail inbox. You are seeing one email from service now. Verify your service now ID. So verify, verify service now ID. Yes, I'm clicking on verify service now ID. Okay, so guys, if you have any queries, you can directly ask me in the call instead of messages. Okay, so Knox sent uh, one more query. Sir, is this instance has how much memory? Okay, yes. Every service now instance has some memory. We don't, we don't require to bother about the memory. Okay, so service now company itself will take care of memory. Okay, so the default memory for service now instance is 15 GB. Okay, got it? 15 GB and it will completely take care by service no company. Okay, guys. Yes. Next. So now I'm clicking on verify email. I hope everybody has received emails. Okay, I hope everybody has received email or verifying email address. Then simply click on verify email. Yes. So what it is saying, your email is verified and it is redirecting to login page of service now, developers. Okay. Got it, everyone? Yes, sir, no. Yes. Here you can see additional authentication is also asking. Okay. Previously, uh, previously it will not ask for this additional authentication, but this time it is asking. Again, you can go to your email address and you can see one email received from service. Service now, one time verification code. Okay. This is verification code. I'm popping it from pasting here. Second level of authentication also completed. Okay, got it, everyone. Yes, or no? Yes. Okay. 
So it is asking for authentications. Two level of authentication. One is SMS authentication. Another one is authenticator app. Okay. So generally we don't we, we are we are using a personal developer instance. We are working with personal developer instances. We don't require these setups. Okay. So if you want, you can try this. Okay, I'm skipping this step. Okay. Yes, skip. I just want to log into Subsystem Developer account by using email ID and password. That's fine. Yes. Once you log in into developer.servicenow.com, once you log in into developer.servicenow.com, it will ask for enable analytics it will ask for enable analytics yes you can click on agree you can click on agree okay so you can see your service now account was successful okay your service now account was successful yes now you can click on developer program now you can click on developer program now you can click on developer program yes when we click on developer program, when we click on developer program, okay. When we click on developer program, so you can click on developer program. Otherwise, you can uh, navigate to developer.servicenow.com and from there you can log in into the developer portal. So you can see, yes, I have successfully logged in into developer portal. Whenever I use, whenever I open this first time. It is asking some questions. Do you code? Yes, we have to, we have to select. Yes, I need a developer oriented IDE. I need a developer oriented IDE. We have to select. Next. We'll ask what best describe your job responsibilities. I'm a developer. I'm a designer. I'm a IT admin. Okay. Yes, we have to select these three options. And after you have to read developer side terms of use. Developer side terms of use. Once you read, click on this tick mark and you can click on finish setup. Finish setup. Okay. I hope everybody completed until this step. Any queries, please let me know in between. I will wait here for one minute. So everybody, please complete steps until this page okay Hello. Yes, any queries up to here? Yes, any queries? I hope everybody completed until this step. Okay. Next, I'm clicking on request instance. Okay. Beside your profile, beside your profile. So we have request instance. You can click on request instance. Yes. I'm clicking on request instance. So we have to wait for some time. Okay, we have to wait for some time. It is 
searching for service no instance for us. It is searching for service no instance for us. Okay. Yes. So from now receive one query. Instance means like search engine, engine technically. Yes, in the service now instance, we have everything like applications, modules, okay? Uh, so we have search engines also, we have service portals, okay? We have many things. So service now instance is the base thing if you are a service now developer to utilize the service, okay? Wait, it is setting setting up our instance. It is setting up our instance. So here you can see when we click on request instance, it is directly setting up our instance. Sometimes it will ask for the version, which version you want to install. So if it is asked for the version, you can always select latest version that is Utah. You can always select latest version that is Utah. Okay. Yes. Here you have to wait for a few minutes. Then our instance will set up. Is everybody completed until this step? Mm, yeah. Okay. Uh, sometimes what happens is, so it will send you one message instead of creating service now instance, will send you one message called at present service now instances are not available. Once instance is available, will send you email notification. Sometimes it will send this message. Okay. At that time, you have to wait until the service now instances are available. At that time, you have to wait until the service to instances are available. Okay. Yes. Next. So maybe it, it, it took some time. Okay. Meanwhile, so we'll discuss about service now introduction. Okay. I already prepared the document. I already prepared the document. So we, we can go through the document. So service now. now open. Can I click the open instance? Yes. For you, it get start building enable. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then you can click on start building. So for us also, you can see we receive start building. Okay. For us also, we receive start building. You can click on start building. So you can see the service now instance is created for us. This is our service now instance. Dev 127. 450. This is our service now instance. And it is redirecting. It is re redirecting to login page. So you can see, guys, once start building is enabled, once start building is enabled. Okay. So you can click on start building. Otherwise, you can wait until you get this uh until you get this pop-up. Okay. Yes. So you can see it is automatically opened my service now instance. My service now instance ID should be this one. My service now instance ID should be this one. Okay. This is my service now instance. So every day you have to work on the service now instance only. Every day you have to work on the service now instance only. Now click on. So once first time you are logging into service now instance, we'll ask for enable analytics. We'll ask for enable analytics. You can click on agree. You can click on agree. Then after it will show you, then after it will show you uh, some steps here. You want to follow steps? Yes, you can. Otherwise you can close this one. 
Okay, I'm closing this one. Finally, this is our service no instance. Finally, this is our service no instance. Okay, you have any queries logging into service no instance, please let me know. We'll discuss here. You have any queries for logging into service no instance, please let me know. Uh, yes, we know these classes are recorded every day. Then after, once class is completed, I will forward to you your Google Drive. Okay. For first five days, I will utilize the YouTube. I will upload in YouTube and I will send you the link. Once you once I received your details. Okay. Thank you. Uh, then after, so I will start uploading these videos in Google Drive. Okay. Okay, sir. The difference between the email ID and password and this one is so if you want to log in to the developer account, if you want to log in with the developer account, okay, you required your email ID and password. Okay. If you want to log into this URL, this is service no instance URL. If you want to log into this URL, okay, you have to, you require these credentials. Got it, Venu? For logging into developer account, for logging into this website, okay, you require email ID and password. For logging into this one, this instance, service no instance, you require these credentials. Uh, username and password okay okay sir yeah now if it possible so please check your mic please try to ask the questions instead of messages okay okay sir. next Yes, we have successfully created our service no instance. Okay, this is our service no instance. Now, yes, it is some auto-generated passcode. And to keep this password, we can say it was some difficult. Okay, to remember this password, it's some somewhat it's difficult. Now I want to change the password for my instance. Now I want to change the password for my, my instance. Okay. You can click on this profile. You can click on this profile. Yes, I have clicked on this profile. Then after, you can click on profile. Then after, you can click on profile link. Okay. Yes, now I'm clicking on profile. Yes, I have clicked on profile. So you can see, I, now I have clicked on this photo icon, profile icon. Then after, we have profile link. Yes, I have clicked on this profile link. Okay. So here you have link change password. Here you have link change password. Okay, you can click on change password. Okay. You can click on change password. I'm waiting for one minute. So please, everybody, uh, navigate to this page. Yes, now I'm clicking on change password. Yes. Right, it is redirecting to change password page. So you can come here. This is a change password screen, change password screen. Old password, you have to keep, you have to copy this current password. Is the old password, okay? I'm copying it. I'm pasting it here. Okay, maybe somebody already closed the screen. If you are already closed the screen, you can go to this profile. You can go to the developer account and uh, you can click on this profile. Okay. Here you can see we have a manage instance password. We have a link called manage instance password. You can click on manage instance password and you can find the your service no instance password. Okay. Got it, everyone. Yes. 
So I already copied old password. I'm entering my new password. Uh, my new password I'm giving training at the rate of 123. Uh, a I N I N G at the rate of 123. T is capital letter. Okay. T is capital letter. T is capital letter. Okay. I'm clicking on change password. Yes, it is changing the password. Okay, it will take few seconds or one minute. Meanwhile, if you have any queries, please ask me. Yes. My instance password was changed successfully. My instance password was changed successfully. At final, you will get this screen. You will get this screen. I hope everybody changes the password. Yes. Yes, Pawan. Sir, already I created. I have to see, sir. Okay, that's fine. Is everybody with me? And uh, follow no, some error like change password error. Yes, usually you got uh, change password error. Yeah. But what is that error saying? That the specified old password is not correct. Yes. You haven't copied the old password properly. Okay. okay. You, can, you can go to developer account. You can click on your profile. You can click on manage instance password. Here is your password. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can copy this password properly. And you can paste it in the change password window. Okay. Okay, I'll try. Yes. I hope everybody created service no instance. If you have any queries, please let me know. Okay. Now you can see I'm logging out from my service no instance and I will I will log in with my new password. Okay. I will I'm checking here whether my password is working or not. Okay. I'm logging out from here. Now, my uh, username is admin. Username is admin. Password is training at the rate of one. I have one. Now I'm clicking on login. I'm clicking on login. Yes. Now I have successfully login in login into the service now instance. That means finally my password got changed successfully. My password got changed successfully. Okay. Yes. Yes, we have successfully signed into developer account and we are successfully created service no instance. And we are successfully logging logged into service no instance and change the password also. Okay. Any queries here, please let me know. I will wait for one minute. Okay, so this is the process for creating a service now instance. Okay. Uh, in the developer account, in the developer account, we have many options like adequate plugin, manage email properties, release instance. In tomorrow section, 
I will explain these properties. Okay, in tomorrow section, I will explain all these links. Okay. Now I'm closing all the tabs here. Now I'm closing all the tabs here. So now I'm going to introduction to service. Now I can. Okay. Introduction to service. Now I can. So you can see. First of all, why we have to use service now? Why we have to use service now? Service now is an integrated cloud solution which combines all these services in a single system of record. All these services in a single system of record. Okay. Service now is the integrated cloud solution which combines all these services in a single system of record. So, service now supports infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, software as a service. Why service now? Why we have to use service now? Service now is an integrated cloud solution which combines all the services in a single system of record. All these services in a single system of record. Yes. Service now is a cloud solution. We already installed service now instance. Uh, have you installed something in our laptop or in our desktop? Nothing we installed. Everything will take care by the service now itself. Okay. And it will support infrastructure as a service. What do you mean by infrastructure as a service? So, for example, if you want to install some software or application, you request some prerequisites. Okay. So you require some database, you require some web server, you require uh, some technology, like for building uh, the software, you require some, some technology like uh, Java, .NET, Python, like that. Okay. So here, everything will take care by service now as infrastructure as a service, infrastructure as a service, okay? Yes, for building one software, for installing one software, for building one software, for installing one software, successfully we require these many things, web server, database, some technology, okay? All these we require and everything will take care by the service now as in infrastructure as a service, okay? Next, platform as a service, platform as a service, okay? So, if you want to install some application or software, okay? Yes, you required, you require some servers, web servers, you require some servers, okay? I hope everybody knows what is server, okay? We require servers, okay? For installing a service now, we don't require any servers here. It will take care of the service now as platform as a service. Platform as a service. Okay. Yes. Next. Software as a service. So we just using service now instance. We just using service now with the URL. Yes or no? We just using service now with the URL that we are calling as software as a service software as a service okay got it everybody why service now service now is an integrated cloud solution which combines all the services in a single system of record all the services in a single system of record it will support infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service yes everybody got it Okay, next. Before going to service now definition, before going to service now definition, okay. Yesterday we already discussed so how the service now came to the picture, into the market. Okay. So I will note down these points. I will note down those points also in the notepad. Okay, before service now definition. Okay. So you can see, basically service now is a ticketing tool. We already, guys, what are the points I'm going to write here now? So we already discussed in yesterday class, okay? Same points and I'm, I'm writing the notes here, okay? 
service now is a ticketing tool. Okay. Yes. Then after service now is started from 2004. From 2004. And service now was introduced by Fred Goody. By Fred Goody. Service now was introduced by Fred Goody. Next. So, how the Fred Goody was introduced in service now? Guys, if anybody not attended yesterday class, this notes will cover yesterday's section. Okay. So basically, Fred Ludi was worked for at BMC MD for 20 years. Okay. For BMC Fred Ludi was for Fred BMC Remedy for 20 years. Then after, then after he taken a decision to develop a more advanced system to BMC Remedy. Okay. Software more advanced to BMC remedy. Okay, so that is service now. That is service. Next, yes, he has created service now. Two service now ticketing tool. Okay. And service now is started from 2004 with ITSM2. Okay. Initially, the service now is started with uh, ITSM2. So I will note down the point also. In 2004 with ITSM2. Okay. ITSM2. Then after service now company is using service now tool internally. Once in 2004, service now is ready for use. Service now company is using service now tool. Okay. Initially, within the company internally, they use the service now tool. Okay. After some time, after some time, service now company started giving service now tool to their customers. Okay. Yes. I will mm -hmm. note down that point also. After some time, service now company giving. After some time, service now company started giving service now to their customers. Okay, got it? Yes. So, yes, if we have given something to others, we'll get some response, either good or bad. Okay. So if you have given something to others, you will get some response on behalf of that. Uh, it's good or bad. Okay. So basically the service now companies got good response from the customers. Okay. They got good response from their customers. About service now too. 
Okay. Yes. So <laughs> service now we started giving service now tool to outside from December 2011. Okay. Yes. So service now company. So service now company started giving service now tool to external clients. Outside market to cancel. Okay. From December 2011. From de December 2011. Okay. From December 2011 onwards, the service now using outside of service now company. Okay. Outside of uh, service now external clients. You can say. Okay. From 2011 December onwards, service now is using outside of company. Service now company. Yes, perfect. Yes. When the service now tool was using outside in the market, when service now tool is using in the market. So it is using with ITSM only. Okay, we already discussed here. In 2004 itself, uh, they use a service now with ITSM tool. Okay. In 2011 also, everybody uses service now with ITSM tool only. You can also note down that. Initially, service now came out with ITSM model. ITSM model. Okay. Yes. Whenever service now is out in 2011, okay. We are using service now with ITS and not it only. Okay. Yes. And we are calling it as ticketing tool. And we are calling it as service now tool. And we are calling, calling it service now tool. Okay. Yes. So then after, then after service now company is started implementing different models, okay, with the different models with service now tool, okay? Yes. Initially, they came up with ITSM module only. After some time, after some time, service now company started implementing different models in service now. Okay. Yes. So now service now is a platform. Okay. Once once service now company started implementing different models within the service now. We are calling a service now is a platform. So now we are calling service now is a platform. Now tell me, guys, is service now is a tool or platform? Service now is tool or platform. So we have to say service now is a platform contains many modules, contains many modules like ITSM, ITOM, ITBM, PPM, ITAM, HRSD, CSM. Okay, like we have many more modules in the service. Okay. So if anybody asks you, what is service? You don't say service now is a ticketing tool. We have to say service now is a platform. Ticketing tool is part of the service now. Got it, everyone? So ITS module is for is helpful for ticketing. Okay, helpful for ticketing. Service now is not a ticketing tool. Service now is a platform. Ticketing tool is one part of service now. Got it, everyone? Yes or no? 
Yes, sir. Okay. And yesterday we also discussed, yesterday we also discussed something. Competitors for service stock. Okay, competitors for service stock. Service. First competitor, DMC Rendi. Okay. Second one, Jira. IBM. HP. These are the competitors for service stock. These are the few competitors for service stock. And we have many more. Many more competitors for service stock. We have many more competitors for service stock. Okay. Yes. Next, yes, we are saying service now is a platform or service now is a ticketing tool. Okay, that's fine. So for building any software, for building any software, we have some prerequisites, right? So if you want to build some software, we require some language. Either it may be Java, it may be .NET, maybe Python, it may be, we have many languages, okay? Yes, we require some database also. We request some web server also. So, service now, service now was built, service now was built in which language? By using which, which programming language? By using which database? By using which web server? Yes. Service now was developed by using Java language, by using Apache Tomcat web server, by using MySQL database. Okay, initially. I will note down this. Service now was developed by using Java language. And my SQL database and Apache Tomcat web server got it everyone service now was developed by using Java language my SQL database and Apache Tomcat server initially okay Got it, everyone. Initially, service now was developed by using Java language, MySQL database, and Apache Tomcat web server. Apache Tomcat web server. Okay. Yes. Next. Nowadays, nowadays, how we, we are utilizing service now with these three things by language, by database, uh, by web server. Okay, so initially service now came up with Apache Tomcat web server, MySQL database, and Java language. Yes, still we are using Java language for developing a service now. Okay, got it? Yes. For us, as a service now developers, we have service now script. We have service now script. Okay, we will not use any Java and something. We will not use a, a, any other languages we have some separate service now script we will use that one okay so now uh, how organizations using service now with this language database and web servers okay yes still service now still service now built by java language only okay coming to the databases coming to the databases Okay, yes. Initially, it is MySQL server. Now, for example, we will take two to three organizations. For example, we have Cognizant, we have Deloitte, we have Infosys. Okay, so maybe Cognizant already have license for Oracle database. Cognizant already have license for Oracle database. Maybe Infosys already have access for my access database my access database okay so maybe Deloitte have 
that I have subscription for my SQL database. Okay. So how ServiceNow company will provide ServiceNow instance to these databases? For example, Cognizant is planning to opt out for new ServiceNow instance. Okay. Then ServiceNow company will ask you questions. So which database you want along with ServiceNow? So obviously, Cognizant already have subscription to or license to Oracle database. Cognizant will ask for Oracle database. Okay, then ServiceNow company will provide ServiceNow instance for Oracle database to Cognizant. Coming to the web, ser web services, it is also same. Okay, so we have many web service, web ser web ser web services, web servers like Apache Tomcat server, JBoss server, Glassfish server, uh, Wildfly server. Okay. Yes. For example, Cognizant opted for, uh, already have license for some web server. Yes. It will take the database and uh, that web server. Okay. Like if we come to the Delight, Delight already have license with MySQL. Yes. It will give with MySQL. Maybe Delight have some Glassfish server license. Yes. Then ServiceNow company will provide ServiceNow instance to Delight with uh, MySQL server database and Glassfish web server. Got it? How the ServiceNow company distributing this database and web services to the companies where, when they're taking ServiceNow instances? Yes, sir. No. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm going to service now definition. Now I'm going to service now definition. What is service now? What is service now? Tell me guys, what is service now? Service now is an IT management platform that allows organizations to manage all aspects of their IT infrastructure, including asset management, IT service management, okay? CMDB management of IT assets on devices. It also specify, specializes in ITSM, ITOM, and ITBM, ETC. Okay. ServiceNow is an IT management platform that allows organizations to manage all aspects of their IT infrastructure, including asset management, IT service management, CMDB management of IT assets and devices. Okay, it also specializes in ITSM, ITOM, ITBM, ETC. Okay, got it, everyone? Yes. IT service management contains different applications, or uh, you can say modules also instant management, problem management, change management. Okay, service now is a um, IT management platform that allows organizations to manage all aspects of their IT infrastructure, including asset management, IT service management, CMDB management of IT assets and devices. It also specializes in ITSM, ITOM, and ITBM, ETC. Okay, got it, everyone. Service now definition. Yes. So this information we already have. ServiceNow was founded in 2004 and stepped foot into the ITSM fine provided by competitors as, like established players like IBM and HP. ServiceNow founder was Fred Ludi. Initially ServiceNow developed with the Java technology, Apache Tomcat web server and MySQL database. Okay, got it everyone. So this is service now definition. If anybody ask about service now, what is service now? You have to say service now is an IT management platform that allows organizations to manage all aspects of their IT infrastructure, including asset management, IT service management, CMDB management of IT assets and devices. Okay. It also specializes in ITSM, ITOM, and ITP. Okay, guys, everybody got it, this one? Yeah. Yes, sir. Next. 
what are the models in service now? What are the models in service now? I have noted down here few models from the service now. IT SM, information technology, service management. IT OM, information technology, operational management. IT BM, information technology, business management. PPM, project portfolio management. IT AM, information technology, asset management. HRST, human resource, service delivery. GRC, governance, compliance, and risk. Performance analytics. CSM, customer service management. Security operations. FSM, field service management, marketing, and sales. Okay, these are the few models I have noted down here in the service. So we have many more models available. So th these are few known models in market. Yes. Uh, any queries from these models, please let me know. Okay. Maybe in tomorrow section, I will explain which model, where, in which area we will use which, uh, these models. Okay, in tomorrow section, I will explain. So, here I'm planning to stop the class. Okay, first of all, I will take attendance. Zero two zero five. Thank you. Yes. Yes. So if you have any queries, please ask me. I will help you. In tomorrow section, uh, I will explain uh, this introduction, uh, like modules, versions and uh, different environments, what are the environments we have in service now. So if we have free time, we will also discuss about user interface, okay? Along with these concepts, we will also see different options in the service now developer portal okay, for service now instance, okay? Yes. Guys, our class exactly starts at 6 a.m. Our class exactly starts at 6 a.m. Okay, please try to log in at 6 a.m. only, okay? And yesterday and today, we have starting classes, right? So I have waited for five minutes. Maybe from tomorrow, I will start the class from 6 to a.m., okay, immediately. So I will I will open the class link at 6 a.m. Maybe I will wait for two minutes for joining everybody. Then I will start the class, okay? Please try to log in early at 6 a.m. Yes. And yesterday, I have received emails from only few, few members. Okay. Not everyone. So maybe only received from two to three members. If we are planning to continue the classes. If we are planning to continue the classes. So please send me these details. Your, your name, your email address, your phone number, your working status, and highest education qualification to my mail ID. My mail ID is service now training 2018 at the rate of gmail.com this is my ID. okay service now training 2018 at the rate of gmail.com you can send me your details to this mail ID so that i will provide daily class notes daily recorded videos in google drive okay yes and for yesterday i have uploaded video in youtube i hope I already shared video to everybody, whoever communicated with me in WhatsApp or whoever sent the details to me. I already provided class link. In today also, I will upload video in Google Drive and YouTube also. Okay. So maybe after three days, I will stop uploading videos on YouTube and I will start uploading from Google Drive. Okay. Got it? Yes. So, 
Uh, I had shared my mail ID with you, but I didn't get any link. Yes, in my yes. I, have, I have seen uh, your mail ID. So today, definitely, I will send you the class notes and video link. Okay. Yes. If anybody not share, please share what it is. Yes. Any any queries you have, please let me know. We have ten minutes time. Initially, I am logging with service no portal with my organization mail ID. How can I change with my personal mail ID? So, if you log in with your organizational mail ID, no problem at all. Okay, that is personal dollar. Okay. You can utilize that one. So, if you don't want your service no instance developer account with your company's mail ID, you can ignore about that and you can create a separate service now instance with your personal email id okay guys for one one email address you can you are able to create only one service now instance okay with a single mail address it's not possible to create multiple service now instances okay okay yes fine Any queries, please let me know. Yes, Nagarajan. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, guys, thank you, everyone. So I'm closing the section early today. Okay. Uh, once uh, we entered into the actual subject and administration, we will definitely take classes up to 720 even. Okay. So, okay, guys. Thank you all. We'll meet tomorrow with the same meeting ID and same times. Thank you all. Bye-bye.